and a piece of that hit him, knocked him on his back and he staggered. For the youth forum, take it on board to create a roll of honour, a website and a film and a braille book about the 72 men and women who were killed in the Second World War, as well as all of the men and women from across the Ribble Valley. The members of the project are all primarily from Clitheroe, and they age from 9 to 19. And overall, we've got something like uh, 35 young people being involved with this. They're, they're linking back to one or two generations, uh, and they're acknowledging, really, this sacrifice that many people have made uh, during, the, during the war. It was exciting to actually find out how it was in the war and how scary. Like he's got a diary and I've read it and it's quite sad. What mem memories do you have of the war? Memories? Oh, many. All sorts. One of our special projects has actually been Sam Brearley, a, a veteran, 97 years of age, who we came across through this project. Without this project, we'd never have met Sam. You know, we often hear the expression, he, he does deserve a medal. And Sam Brearley now has got his war medals after 65 years. Without the National Lottery funding, this wouldn't happen at all. And now he's, he's turned up like this and it's, it's absolutely wonderful. The National Lottery funding helped us to create a roll of honour, a braille book, a website and a film. It's also helped us to hire various studios and rooms to do their project work. This is commemorating all of those men and women killed and they've got a lovely view. I know they've passed away. But to win the National Lottery Award would be a big honour, not just for myself, but for all of the young people, also the people of Clitheroe and more especially the veterans, those men who actually aren't around here today because they were killed in the war.